And I want to ask you this question. Why in the world are marriages so hard? Relationships so hard. Parenting so hard. Friendship so hard. Don't look at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, you have never had a relationship in your life that hasn't disappointed you in some way. Isn't that incredible? Not one. What is all of that about? If you were going to write an answer to that question this evening, what would you write? Well, I, I think maybe the way to get into this evening is tell you a little bit of my own story. I'm a father of grown children, and uh, when our children were growing up, we would, we would take vacations with our children. We live in Philadelphia, down to the Jersey Shore. In Philadelphia, you say you're going down the shore. I don't know why they say it that way, but they do. And uh, we would lay on the beach in New Jersey and pick up medical waste. <laughs> Our kids thought hyperdemics were shells. Uh, seriously, we would go to Ocean City. It's a really wonderful family place, and... Our kids have fond memories of that, so occasionally we'll gather our family once again. Married children would, would come, my daughter who's grown and single, she would come, and we'll spend this nostalgic week in Ocean City. And one of the things I do, because I've done a lot of cooking in our family, is make some of the things that our children are fond of. And there was a particular morning where I'm going to make the world's best, there's no debate, cinnamon rolls. These are an edible glory. <laughs> and I'm, as I'm thinking of that, I'm thinking about what's going to happen. I'm thinking, I'm gonna, that morning, I'm going to make those rolls. I'm going to put them in uh, the oven, and that gorgeous smell is going to waft throughout that vacation house, and my children are going to lay on bed and say, how could it be that God would love me so much that this particular man who makes these glorious rolls could be my father? I know that's going to happen. And so I'm now on that morning, and I'm making the rolls, and I'm thinking about the glory that's to come and the praise I'm going to receive, which is my just due. Uh, and I'm now putting the rolls in the oven, and I'm sitting at a chair that's looking down the hallway because I know what's going to happen. The doors are going to begin to open, and my children are going to come and stand at my feet and say, how could you be such a wonderful dad? <laughs> the first door opens, and my son walks down the hallway, and he says to me these shocking words. Dad, do you mind if I make something else for breakfast? <laughs> what do you mean, do I mind? Are you an idiot? <laughs> and he says, my wife, <laughs> interloper that she is, doesn't like to eat something so sweet in the morning. I think, who does she think she is? And I, I sort of squeak out a, yeah, that's okay. In my heart, I'm thinking, this is not okay. This breaks every rule you could ever break. Well, we're now at the table. And she's seated in the middle of this table, right positioned in front of this glorious mound of edible wonderfulness eating eggs, eggs, eggs. <laughs> now, I know I'm not supposed to be angry. I know this is not supposed to bother me, but it does. It makes me mad. I'm Paul Cinnamon Roll Trip, for Pete's sake. Eat your eggs somewhere else. <laughs> now, in, 
in ways that you may not understand that, that is a deeply, fundamentally theological moment. I'm serious. And if you don't understand the theology of that moment, you won't gain ground in those kinds of things. We can be so demanding. We can be so creepy. We can be so full of ourselves. Ten out of ten people in this room struggle with these things.